Hello everyone, welcome back again. So in this video, we are going to talk about how to use the select a statement in SQL. So first we will talk what is select a statement. So let's say this is your table and it has several columns. Let's say column one, column two, column three, column four. And each column holds some records in the form of row. Okay. So in this row one, row two, row three, row four, and up so on, this will contain some records. Okay. So select a statement does it will select the columns which you provide. So the syntax for select a statement is select then you will give the column names let's say you have to again column one column two and so on whatever column you want in your output you will provide those columns then after that you have to write from and then give the table name okay so this is the syntax for getting some a specific column so what will be the syntax to get all the records from the table so for that we will use select in the place of column one column two and giving a specific column we will write a star star means all so the meaning of a star is all select all columns from and then you have to give your table name then you have to give your table name so we will now see this in practically so in the first question it is showing that so first name of all employee so we had created an employee table uh, in which uh, we had a store what id name last name salary and date of birth so we have to show what first name of all employee so we will write select then first name and from which table the table name is employee okay and we have to fire this query so when we fire this query you can see that the first name of all employee is showing so moving to next question so the next question is select id and salary of all employee so here we have to select two columns so similar to previous question so we will write select id comma salary from table name was similar employee right. and fire this query so when we fire this query we will get id and their respective salary so moving to next question here it is showing that uh, so records of all employer so what was the syntax to show all records so to show all records we can have two options either we provide each and every column name that means id then first name then last name after that it was salary and date of birth from employee okay and when we run this query all the records are coming so but why we will do these much of job when we have a query of select a star from employee so this will select all the columns from the record and so the records okay so when we do select a star so these two syntaxes are similar to each other moving to next question so in the next question it is now uh, saying that we have to do 10 percent increase salary of all employee so here the salary is 10 thousand 90 thousand 8500 90 thousand and 13 thousand so we have to show 10 percent increment increment in that and uh, we have to show output in that way so we will select let's say we will select id and then their salary from employee okay so but we have to do 10 percent increment in the salary 
so to increase the salary by 10% we will multiply it by 1.1 that means uh, the salary will be increased by 10% so if we do this you can see uh, now that uh, for the id1 the previous salary was so okay let's say we also see the previous salary and the updated salary okay so the previous salary was 10000 after increment of 10% it is 11000 and so on for all the employees okay so hope you have understood that so what we have talked in this uh, select uh, any a specific column or select all the columns and we can also do some arithmetic operation on any column so hope you have liked this video and uh, thank you for watching bye bye